TRT World's health correspondent, Nicola Hill. Nicola, why are scientists looking at vitamin D in relation to COVID-19? Well, that's because there's been various retrospective studies that have shown that people who are very deficient in vitamin D have died of COVID-19. Now, as you said, Rachel, it's the sunshine vitamin because we get it from sunlight. Um, and then it activates on our skin and we know that it gives bone health, we know that it improves our mood. But there's also been a lot of research looking to see whether or not it can protect us against respiratory infections such as cold and flu. And Professor Adrian Montano, who's from Queen Mary um, University here in the UK, he has done a lot of research on this in the past. He found in 2017, for example, that if you had low levels of vitamin D and you took supplements, your chances of getting these respiratory infections were reduced by as much as 40%. And if you had normal levels of vitamin D, it would still protect you to about 15%. So because of this, he has now started a major study. It's called Covidence UK, and he's recruiting 12,000 people. It's an online study. People just need to Google it, find it, and then just let, let them know how often they're going to the sun, what they're eating and whatever, to try and see what their levels of vitamin D are. He, at the moment, has about 8,000 people and he needs more, particularly people from black, Asian, minority, ethnic backgrounds, because they tend to have lower levels of vitamin D anyway. This is because of the melanin in their skin, which protects them against skin cancer, but stops the amount of vitamin D coming into the body. And of course, we do know that people from these backgrounds do seem to be doing worse with COVID-19, both in contracting it and also then dying from it. Now, there's lots of elements that are being investigated, but it is thought that vitamin D may well play a part of this, which is why he has launched this major study. He also wants to have a proper randomised clinical trial. He's applied for funding, he was telling me this morning, um, in the hopes that they can definitively find out the benefit of vitamin D and whether we should be taking higher doses in future. Yeah, so should we all start taking supplements? We should do anyway, apparently, he was hmm. telling me. Certainly here in the UK, it's the one supplement that Public Health England recommends. Here it's um, 400 international units, ITUs they're called. In America, it's 600 or up to 800 if you are of an L, if you're older. And that's one of the things as well is if you're older, you have a, a weakened immune system, you have lower levels of vitamin D. And this is what vitamin D actually does do. It's known to help boost the immune system. That's why they think the people who have had these um, cytokine storms, people who died of it, the immune system is not working properly. And that's why they think vitamin D can actually have a benefit. It's one of the things that's being investigated. Now, we can get it from food, you can have it from oily fish, you can have it from shiitake mushrooms or from eggs. But the professor told me this morning that that's not enough and that's why, you know, taking supplements is a good idea. Now, I did ask him, is this one of the reasons why people in the southern hemisphere have lower levels? And he said that's something that they need to investigate. Hmm, interesting. Nicola Hill, thank you.